All right, guys. Finally time to talk about college football and the UCLA Bruins taking on the Houston Cougars. This is going to be a game, obviously, I wouldn't say it's a must win, but it's definitely one that you need to get on a high note. You need to start well. Uh, UCLA has a lot more to lose than Houston this game. Even though Houston will have some uh, high expectations themselves in Conference USA, uh, UCLA has to show that they can win this game easily. And why am I saying that? Not trying to sound arrogant. Because of some of the matchups. Houston, all they got is Case Keenum in an offense. All they got is some running. They got a very huge pass-happy offense. But the thing they don't have is a defense. And the Bruins need to exploit that to show that their offense well, is at least respectable, at least has some power. Uh, specifically, UCLA's run game is the biggest strength uh, that they'll have. Of course, Jonathan Franklin could be a dark horse uh Dark Horse uh, Walker candidate, if he actually does tear it up, Jonathan Franklin is capable of doing that. UCLA's offensive line, though, big question. The receivers better step up because they, I know they're talented, but they have not played to the ability that they could. And then, of course, that quarterback. You don't even know who the quarterbacks are going to be, uh, but between Richard Riho or Kevin Prince. New Heisel announces that on Thursday. There should be an annotation updated saying who the quarterback is uh, but whoever the quarterback is there needs to be some kind of competence because Houston does not have a defense if UCLA does not score a certain number of points on, on Houston's defense there is no excuses to let Houston's defense look elite on us the thing that yes I can worry about is Case Keenum because he can pass the ball but UCLA showed last year that their strength is the secondary Specifically, the uh, UCLA secondary should show that the, the biggest uh, ability that they got. Because Dietrich Riley, Tony Dye are back at safety. Should not be a problem. Uh, Dietrich Riley especially should be stepping into the role well. Then you got Aaron Hester. Uh, not sure. He might be out. Might be hurt. I'm not sure. You got Sheldon Price. And then you got other guys starting to step in. Like Hilliard, uh, McDonald. A bunch of other guys in the secondary as well to step in. The front seven are pretty much coming back, with the exception of Akeem Ayers. A lot of guys, and of course David Carter, who uh, has graduated. Still got Awagmadeo Digizua. You got Daychon Jones, which is a huge addition. Nobody has seen this guy last year. Probably the average college football fan doesn't know who Dayton Jones is. But this guy, he's healthy, he's going to tear it up, and he should exploit and kill Houston's offensive line. The offensive line of the Cougars is a big weakness, and the athletes up front, athleticism alone, should be the reason why the Bruins can win this game up front. Because you got Cassius Morris, you got Odigazua, as I said, you got Jones. It'll be huge, just the fact that we have him back because of last year being out the entire season. And then at linebacker, you got Patrick Laramore, you got a talented Jordan Zumwalt, and then Sean Westgate, who I'm expecting to uh, step it up as well. Uh, Patrick Laramore was also out most of last year, but he put himself on the on the map when he played Houston last season. I know the game's on the road, and I know the game is in Texas, but there is still no excuses if we lay flat or we just let uh, Case Keenum go past Happy on us, giving up you know 500 yards or something. There's no reason for us to to actually uh, lose this game. There isn't because of the talent we have on this roster. Well, I know what you guys think. Uh, you know, there's a lot of pressure on New Heisel and the coaching staff this season. You got three guys coaching the offense, and Mike Johnson, Jim Astro, and then of course New Heisel himself. But the quarterback play should at least be average enough against this Houston defense. They should be able to run the ball, and if you get the Casey Keenum early, the front seven that we do have, we should be able to get the Casey Keenum and sack him early on, take the momentum in this game, and win in Houston. There's just no excuses to lay flat and pull off what we did in Utah back in 07, losing to by a fat score. That There's just no excuses, uh, barring no injuries and whatnot. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, in just my brief preview on Houston, there's no reason for us to lose this game. If if they do lose this game and what happens, then they're not saying New Heisel should be fired on the spot, but a lot of these guys should be very ashamed if that happens. We'll see you guys later. Go Bruins, and I'll have a post game on.
Saturday. Might not be immediately after the game, but we'll see. We'll see you guys later, and go Bruins.